I blow the gauge. Unlike anything you've seen, stop lying. Nothing like T. My style, living with team, the groundbreaking. Not my own genre, you sound like every other rapper. You washed up. Facts. I already peeped it. Now, this is my fucking anthem, right? Because that applies to a lot of shit in this rap shit. As soon as I already, I've not already peeped it. You know what I mean? <laughs> when you listen to Prodigy, you listen to real rappers, you, you know, they put in their music a lot of times of like how to spot this fraud shit because there's a lot of fraud shit going on okay let's talk about freestyle videos freestyle videos not a fan of these man like these freestyles like when they go on the radio and they rap 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 whatever um and it's supposed to be like yo this nigga got bars and shit, and shit like that like to me corny and the reason for it is that well there's a couple of things one is, I'm not impressed by them on any level. I think they're beyond played out, and I think they're a great visual marketing tactic for whack rappers, honestly. Because when you look at the people that are the most sort of like radio freestyle, um, they do it a lot, or they've got the videos and things like that. Um, honestly, these are people that you're never going to want to listen to, right? Like, let me look at my list here. I'm looking up. You've got Meek Mill. Trash. Tory Lanez. Trash. Fabio. Trash. Young M.A. Uh, trash. Lil Dicky. Yeah, for sure. 100%. <laughs> Childish Gambino. For sure. 100%. The Baby. Yeah. Like, you know, it's Black Thought. Oh, okay. Black Thought, to me, is a mediocre rapper. He's always been mediocre to me. Not that he's whack. I would never call him whack. But in terms of someone that is like not that nice and is told and people say he's nicer than he actually is, Black Thought absolutely fits the bill to me, okay? This nigga does not have a single solo record worth playing. So that's why when people are like, oh, Black Thought is ill, check out this freestyle, I already know that Black Thought is mediocre. And that's why he needs that freestyle for his, you know, to get his clout up. But it's not gonna work because ultimately, Freestyles don't prove shit. They don't prove that you can make a record. I mean, that's what great artists do. The Nas's, the Jays, the Bigs, the Cannabis's even. Cannabis has a couple of great records. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, obviously Cannabis, his own solo material is weak, but Cannabis was killing fucking, you know, other people's records. He has great records. He has great features. Does Black Thought have great features? Nah, let's not, let's not be, you know, let's not lie to ourselves, okay? He was on the pun record, he got murdered on the pun record, but, you know, you wouldn't look at Black Thought and be like, yo, this nigga is a phenomenal rapper. He's not, man, he's okay, he's alright, like, but, you know, again, the radio freestyles to me are aimed at these type of rappers, that the ones that they can't make a song to save their lives, and they're not really that dope and like when you really like look through the the paper and the you know what they're saying the devil's in the details they ain't saying a whole lot or if not downright nothing at all but they have the look you know they seem to be going hard and they appeal to certain type of people certain type of people like that kind of shit but in general it's mediocre and it's generic so i don't listen to that shit and i'm not impressed by it now look listen you might like Radio Freestyles, that's cool. This is just, of course, my opinion. You don't need to be angry about it, but if you're gonna be angry, fuck it, be angry. <laughs> Do you, right? Get in that comment section and, 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 you know, and spew your anger. Not that I give a fuck, but that's what I'm saying. Do you. At the end of the day, though, I'm not fucking impressed. And a lot of these things, man, to me, hip hop has this weird thing where, like, all the smart people, they always innovate and invent new and interesting things and ideas and then lames come and just copy the shit and write it into the ground you know what i'm saying like when big l did a freestyle it was cool when jada kiss was doing all those freestyles and things like that that was cool right jada kiss is a super rapper so yeah it's cool I'll, i don't mind hearing from jada kiss nas when they do these freestyles these things are cool right but then you know lames come and go like oh well because they did that so then i can do it because i can seem like i'm in their company or whatever Nah, you're just another whack rapper, man. 
you know, I can tell the difference, my dude. So I think my number one issue, let me lower this for a bit. My number one issue is that I just don't see the, I don't see what these guys are talking about. I'm not impressed by anything they say on these radio freestyles. I'm not impressed by them rapping over old instrumentals, especially um, because it's just too easy. It's like, it's literally positioning yourself and putting yourself um, next to the legends, right? It's like, oh, I, I'm, I'm like the new Nas. I'm like the new Mob Deep. I'm like the new whatever. Souls of Mischief, but you're not, right? So when, you know, J. Cole goes and spits on the 93 to Infinity beat, it's just too easy. Like, this is a beat that we all know. We love this beat. It's an amazing beat. The song was amazing, the original one, of course. And it's just too easy to coast on it because you're just like... <laughs> and, and people don't even notice that the dude sounds whack on it compared to Souls of Mischief especially. But, of course, just the f mere fact that you're even rapping on it and that you're on a, you know, you've got a platform and you look nice and you dress nice. Because, let's be real, a lot of these people that claim to be about lyrics and all this shit, they are like barbs. They like image just as much as your average pop casual, okay? So, just because you show up and you do all that, you know, all of a sudden you're like supposedly really nice on the freestyle. When you're not, okay? Like, you want to impress me? Take an unknown Souls of Mischief beat that hasn't, you know, people don't really know about. Take an unknown Mob Deep record. In fact, just take an unknown beat that's dope. Try and kill that and let me know, you know. And, and then maybe I might be impressed. But if you're going to rap on, you know, Survival of the Fittest and fucking Keep It Thorough and all these beats that have already been killed and I already know, like, I've heard a million times, I'm not impressed by that. Again, a casual might be impressed by it because they might not know that beat too tough or... That's what they know. That's the only rap they've heard. So it's like, oh, you know, this guy's like that Mob Deep record I heard. I like that song. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, I like a lot of Prodigy songs. Like, Keep It Thorough is amazing, but you got a lot of songs, right? And that's the whole point. Like, it should just aimed at people that don't really know the deal like that, right? So, all in all, man, I think these freestyle videos are corny. Now, the real freestyle guys, like Supernatural... I'll link a Supernatural freestyle, and I don't know if I've talked about this before, but that shit eats just about all these rappers, any of them. You know, simple radio freestyle that he did, he's ill with it, right? Again, y'all don't know about Supernatural, and I'm not saying y'all in terms of my viewers, because a lot of y'all viewers are actually savvy hip-hop listeners, and that's why I like y'all. But I'm talking about these cats is like, could come into these comment sections and, you know, just pretend like, oh, if you don't like Black Thought, you don't know rap. That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, these guys don't know rap. They don't even know who Supernatural is. They've never heard of the dude. They've never heard of Supernatural Freestyle. That's why they're impressed by mediocrity. Stop it. Stop it. Peace.